Hi, I'm Laura, a freelance illustrator and digital creator who loves sharing my process and the tools that I use to create. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make your own stickers with Procreate and Cricut. You're going to start off in Procreate with a blank A4 sized document, and I'm just turning off the background to make it a little bit easier. And then I'm switching over to the files app on my iPad where I have lots of my illustrations saved as PNG files. I'm going to tap that three dots in the top of the screen and select the slide over mode. And then I can select Procreate again to open both of the apps at the same time. And what this is going to allow me to do is that I can drag and drop my own illustrations, my PNG files, from my files onto my Procreate canvas. We are starting in Procreate because we are going to prepare our PNG images for creating stickers by adding a white outline and making some color adjustments so that they will look great when printed on white sticker paper and so that they have a slight outline for our Cricut to cut around without having to cut right into our images. So whatever illustrations or whatever you would like to create a sticker of, just save it as a PNG file in your, in your iPad files, and then you can just drag and drop them onto your Procreate canvas to get them ready for creating stickers. Once you have all of the images that you would like to turn into stickers on your canvas, you can see that they will be separate layers in your layers menu. I'm going to toggle off the visibility of all of the stickers so that one by one I can start to resize them and place them on my canvas so that they're not on top of each other. Now that I have all of my sticker images laid out on my canvas, I am going to do some color checks. I'm going to be adding a white outline to these stickers and I'm going to be printing them on white sticker paper. So I'm going to just check each of my illustrations for any elements or parts of the illustration that are in white that will disappear once I add that white outline and print them on the white sticker paper. Like for example, the text in this one day at a time sticker. I'm just using the recolor tool to drag and drop a dark gray color onto the white text so that when I add the white outline, I'll still be able to see all of the text. I'm going to do exactly the same thing with my cloud illustrations, changing the color of them slightly so that the illustration will still be visible when I add my white outline and I print them on my white sticker paper. Okay, now my sticker images are almost ready. The next thing that I'm going to do is duplicate each of my sticker images so I have two versions of each illustration that I'm turning into a sticker. I'm going to select the bottom version of each sticker and then I'm going to use my adjustments menu and Gaussian blur to add about 10% Gaussian blur to each bottom version of my image. So again, I'm going to select Gaussian blur and I'm going to turn it up to about 10%. This is going to start creating a little glow or a shadowy outline that's caused by the blurring of the bottom version of the image. And this is going to help us create our white outline that we're going to need for our cutting our stickers in Cricut. So here comes the magic. I'm going to pick the selection tool. I'm going to turn on automatic selection and I'm going to select color fill to turn on. I'm going to select white from my color menu and then I'm just going to tap on the Gaussian blur layer or each of the Gaussian blur layers one at a time and what this automatic color fill is going to do is it's going to fill the Gaussian blur layer and create a perfect white silhouette around the sticker images. Now, sometimes when you do this, the color fill will be too intense and it will fill the canvas completely. So what you're going to do is tap clear and then you're going to tap again, but press and hold this time so you can toggle left and right to adjust the intensity of this. 
Just like sometimes when you tap it, the outline is not going to be enough, so you're going to need to increase the intensity of this color fill. And we're going to just keep repeating this one layer at a time, remembering to do it to the layer that we have blurred with Gaussian Blur until all of our sticker images have a perfect white outline. Now I'm gonna do one final check. I can see that one of my stickers needs a little bit of manual editing. So I'm going to grab my monoline brush and I'm going to make sure I have my stabilization and motion blurring turned on for nice smooth lines. And then I'm going to zoom right in on this one day at a time sticker and I'm going to trace around any gaps in my outline with my monoline brush so that all of the pieces of this sticker are inside in one outline. I can also fill in some of those little gaps that the outline didn't get and then just trace around the edges to give it one smooth outline where all of the text is captured inside in one sticker. I'm really happy with how my outlines look, so the next thing that I'm going to do is going to go back into my layers menu and I'm going to start merging my sticker image onto its white outline so that that is one single layer. Now it's time to export them and we can do this really easily in one movement. We're gonna click, we're gonna select share, we're going to select share layers as, and we're going to select PNG files. And this is going to export each of our layers as a separate PNG file and save them wherever we want in our files on our iPad or to our camera roll. Now we can go ahead and move on over to the Cricut Design Space app. We're going to open that up and we're going to click to create a new project canvas. In the bottom left hand side of our canvas, we're going to select upload and then we're going to choose select from files or browse files. And then here on our recent files, we can see our sticker PNGs that we just saved. And one at a time, we can select these and import them into the Cricut Design Space. We don't need to do any background removal because we've already done that. All we have to remember is to select print, then cut. And if Cricut doesn't read your file name, to make sure to name your sticker in here as well. Then you can resize your sticker image to be whatever size you would like your sticker to be and repeat the same steps for your remaining sticker PNGs that you have prepped in Procreate. I have gone ahead and imported three of my sticker images here and I am happy with these. So I'm going to go ahead and click the make it button to go and preview what these are going to look like. Please remember to turn off that bleed setting inside in Cricut because this creates this strange gray shadow around your images, which you don't need because you've already created your own bleed by creating that white outline in Procreate before you moved to Cricut. You can also turn on the mirror toggle if you would like to print these on heat transfer paper for heat transfer projects. And now you're ready to send them to print and cut them on your sticker paper for perfect stickers. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to click that thumbs up button. And if you want to see more videos from me, you can go ahead and click subscribe. If you are new to Procreate and you want more tips on getting used to using the app, then go ahead and watch this video next where I share all of my best tips for Procreate beginners.